What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some My Hero Academia. This one is season six, episode six. This one was called Encounter Part Two, which I had to go back through the list of episodes. I was like, I know, I swear I can remember an Encounter Part One. It, this is the second part of the encounter in season two. At the end of season two, when Shigaraki sees Deku and just doesn't have his middle finger on him, that was Encounter Part One. This is Encounter Part 2, so Deku and Shigaraki gonna be talking, gonna be meeting. I'm very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts. I just hit the mic, sorry. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut version, unedited, check out that Patreon. Links are down below. You guys can also get early access and full length of the other shows I'm watching. One Piece, Kuroko no Basket, Assassination Classroom, all that jazz. Let's hop right on into it. My Hero Academia, Season 6, Episode 6. This one is called Encounter Part 2. Let's do it. Tell me why somehow, somehow, some way, I forgot Gigantomachia was how they ended last episode with... Let's start this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oop, and then Geten was able to save Tokoyami and Hawks from Dabi. Oh yes, Mount Lady did come slamming into Fadgo, and that is exactly where we left off. Oh yeah. Talk about a way to go out. Ooh, I wanted to see him since I saw him in the work studies and all that shit. Let's go, can we woods? Come on, man. Good save. Who was that from? Mount Lady, let's go. Okay. Oh my, give her the little cement club. Okay. Yeah, let's level this ice. Let's get this on an even playing field. That, yeah, he died to twice and now he's going to kill him because he's Toga. Oh no, this is so dark. Stabbed, at least cut all of them. Oh no. She lost her cool. Oh, yeah, she is getting some twice vengeance out there. Oh, no. Okay, you naked crazy girl. Gang Orca just blew up that guy's brains from the inside. Oh, and this is him. You're in the... I don't like that face when we have the floor cracking and Gigantomachia coming up. Oh, that is a shot right there. Oh, my God. Now, is this the remnants of... Why is he thinking one for all? I was just thinking he was saying all for one, but no. Is this the remnants of all for one, like, telling him to go do this? Or is he live speaking to him in his mind? Because we know he has the quirk now. What was that just now? I wish I had the answer to that, my friend. Hell's Curtain. Okay, with the foosh on a monopia, making us look like a comic book. Good dodge. Good dodge. That's the thing with Tomura. Er, uh, Tomura, you can't let him touch you. Yeah. So, it's not that the fire wasn't affecting him. The fire was most definitely affecting him, but he's just super regenerating. Oh my god, that fucking punch. He's finally radioing in. Without touching the ground. Oh, good save. Yeah, they don't know the, the true depths of... Tomura's power and all the quirks he has at his disposal. What kind of quirk? Yeah, what kind of shockwave absorption? That's an endeavors hearing about this for the first time. What about one for all oh, as Deku's like, what did you say? What did you say? Why are we seeing the Pussycats headquarters? What is her name? Her quirk got stolen. Season 3? Yes. I'm always... Ragdoll, right? Am I crazy? Yes. Yes. So the, the only reason they're showing this is because Shigaraki has this right now. Shouts out to Burnin and the rest of them going to help Endeavor. They need as much non-ground touching people as they can, but holy shit, Deku, am I scared for you. Yes, they will. I'm glad Bakugo's the only one we can talk to right now. 
Yep. Yep, move away from them. Exactly. Knowing that Tomura's gonna be following us. And Bakugo's right there with us. Shouts out my fucking boys. Oh my god, Spider-Man. Who are you feeling like? Yeah, see, everyone's questioning his power-ups and his strength. But no one knows the full depths of that. He has everything and all for one. I feel like I'm cracking my knuckles getting ready for a fight. God damn it. This season has been such a spectacular season so far. Use that brain endeavor. I love how much he's thinking. I love how cautious but aggressive at the same time he's being. He knows he needs to stop him, but not at the cost of anyone else's life. <laughs> there is some personal beef. I did forget this. Because Bakugo definitely blames himself for the loss of All Might and the symbol of peace. So, he does... I love this. I got goosebumps right now. I really do. Such a great moment. Oh, this has been built up for seasons and seasons and seasons and seasons. I love the confidence. I always do, Bakugo. It gets you far in life, but not against Shigaraki. Please don't go in that confident. Even in the midst of all this craziness, we still have time for a good rivalry and, and for some progression. I love it. Go beyond plus ultra. Come on. I can't quit while I'm behind. I love that. <laughs> Come on. Air blast plus radio waves. So what is this like an EMP, but an actual sonic wave as well? No more communication visuals. Oh, that is bad. That is bad. Does the spare electricity start activating some of these gnomus down there that needed electricity to turn on? Oh, I fucking hope not. That is the worst thing we need. That dark aura. That bloodlust. My god, that visualization. Oh, that feeling of death. Actually experiencing it. Holy shit. Gran Torino, thank the fucking lord. Those two both would have been dead. The heroes aren't dead yet. Come on, Ryukyu Endeavor, come on. I'm praying. This is the thing, bro. I don't want Deku or Bakugo to fight him because I don't want them to die, but I don't want anyone else to die either. Eraser head? R.I.P. man. And he's not gonna put that to vain. I got fucking goosebumps right now. <laughs> On a whole nother level. Come on, man. Shit's bringing me to fucking tears. That's how cool Eraserhead is. Kiddo? Traject? He can change a trajectory midair at full speed? So he goes, oh, okay? He goes launching right up at Tomura? <laughs> Shouts out Manuel for some, for some eye rehydration. The goat. The goat of Hosu. He's also from Hosu right there. <laughs> oh, how much I would love this fight to be over right now and you to kill him. I know that's not going to happen. That launched him, the swing of his arm? That is 100% some All Might Deku type shit. So, not quite as much as All Might, but he has insane super strength. Yes. That would be the end, not of Japan. True. This is the resurgence of things that have been built up for hundreds of years, literally. The rest of the Nomu's underground. We got Nomu dogs? What is this, Resident Evil? 
and they're not like they're not uh mid or low tiers those are hype the episode's over so i say this in the most uplifting respectful wholesome way because you guys some of you know that this was one of the first shows I ever put on my channel, My Hero Season 2, when I reacted to it years ago. I saw some of those videos, but I love this show to death. I, me and My Hero have a special connection. This season eclipses everything else, but that's the point of this show is to build up to this, like, to me, and this is, I hate, you guys hate when I reference other anime, but to me, this feels like the war arc in Naruto Shippuden. Like, this feels like like i know this goes on after this arc and the manga continues going on but this feels like this could lead up to the end of this which is so crazy to me the fights the character development and the the personal progression for the characters that have built them to this point with not only their mental side but their physical aspects as well like oh my god is tomura a fucking intimidating villain that man, Quirk Liss, right now, because he's being erased, is still handling Ryukyu Endeavor. God knows what else. That man. Oh my god. Like, Tomura Shiga fucking Rocky. I am just flabbergasted at the, the constant good animation, the constant good fighting. We had a very little uh, snippet of the Gunga Mountains with Geten and Mount Lady. Mount Lady getting some badass revenge with the Cementos Club. That was so sick. We had Toga absolutely popping off, pissed about the world that she wants to create and live in with everything she loves in it is now, I mean, it's, it could still happen, but it's not going to be the same without twice. So she has to literally go insane and pop off with Gigantomachia waking up at the same time with Tomoraki, with, oh, I said Tomoraki, with Tomura Shigaraki, with the Nomus. Like, I don't think, I, I'm saying, I don't think you guys realize, knowing you guys realize, I'm just saying this to myself. I don't think you realize how fucking bad this is right now. Like, ah, oh. and I know there's going to be oh, the regeneration quirk, the fire endeavor did, the curtain, the fire, the blanket, the help, like everything. I love how they showed us Ragdoll being like just chilling at the pussy pussy cats headquarters saying, oh, I wish I could help them. And then it cutting back to when she got her quirk stolen to let us know, oh shit, Tomura now has this as well. We should have a whole fucking library encyclopedia of the quirks this man has. That, and he just has these omniscient looking godly eyes as he's just flying through the air. Oh my God, this show is so good. This show is so good. I am thoroughly enjoying this. I whether it's Eraser on Crust, whether it's Endeavor and Mirko and his respect towards her, whether it's Bakugo, Todoroki, and uh, not Todoroki, Bakugo, Deku, and Gran Torino, and the, 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 the triangle little relationship they have all about all for one and one for all, you know? It's like, there's so many personal rivalries and characters that I have been built up for seasons that are all climaxing right now, and it's giving me such a serotonin and dopamine kick. It's not even funny. It's three in the morning, and I feel like I can go run a mile. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below if you want to rewatch this one on the full length uncut or see the other shows I'm watching and or next week's uncut, unedited, full version. Check out that Patreon down below. Sorry for the voice crack, you guys know. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. I appreciate y'all immensely. Peace out.